Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. So today I've decided to do a random Q&A that I have grabbed off the internet. A bit spontaneous. I did put it out there for you guys if you wanted to ask me any questions. But mom life, baby's just gone down for a nap. We've been up since five o'clock this morning. Hence these eyes. Um, so she's asleep in. So let's get on with this tag. Just a side note, I just realised, um, I don't know if you know, but I film with my phone and um, the questions are all on my phone. So I just had to quickly jot them down in the good old pen and paper. <clears throat> so let's begin. So the first question is, what's your middle name? My middle name is Elizabeth. I think it was my grandma's name yeah maybe uh, my favorite color is mint green yeah mint green best friend I'm gonna be soppy here my best friend is my sister um, even though she's 3,000 miles away from me yeah I can talk to her about anything I miss you um, how tall am I? I am five foot eight. Do I prefer cats or dogs? Well, here's a funny story. I am petrified of cats, um, but I like to stroke them. So if they're sitting away from me and not on me, and I'm in control of the petting, which usually doesn't happen with cats because they're quite selfish, um, that's cool. Um, but I don't like it when they sit on my lap and then they start doing that diggy thing they do because that, that just freaks me out. Um, oh, shaky. Um, but yeah, I love dogs. I had a dog grown up at home and when I moved out, um, me and hubby got our own dog. Um, yeah, I love doggies. Funniest moment at school. Oh gosh, um, I'm trying to remember. There's there's loads of funny moments that happened at our school. Um, I'd say one that sticks in my mind the most has to be when our maths teacher was off sick and we had a substitute and the guys in my math class, we, um, we, they, locked him in the closet and he was in there the whole lesson how bad's that pretty bad um how many countries have i visited um i don't know the answer to this i think maybe seven eight um maybe i can put the real number in the video when I've got time to figure out which countries I've been to. Mom life, baby's gonna be waking up really soon. Um, are you in or going to college? Well, I wish I was young enough to go to college. My God, no. Um, I did go to college in between um doing my resits for university and um leaving sixth form so i went to college all in all i think it was two years my first year <clears throat> excuse me first year i did a year at level two hairdressing and then my second year i did a year barbering oh the reason i did that is because i i flunked my i failed my um i was doing resets to get into nursing college and my mom said tammy if you're gonna stay home then you have to stay in education so that's why i decided to do hairdressing and typically hairdresser with the bad hair i don't even think i've brushed my hair today mom life Favourite and worst subjects at school? Okay, this is easy. So, my favourite was science. 
I was a proper science nerd. I was the one that started the science club. Yeah, that was me. Mm -hmm. um, I was the one that went to um, my head of year in year seven with the whole project I did in my own time about the weather. Yeah, it was the weather that fascinated me the most um, about the science, in science subject even. Yeah, so science was my favourite and my worst would have to be math or Ori. Yeah. I don't know what was the worst. The Ori building or the subject. They were both pretty brutal. If any of you guys are watching from St Edmund Campion, you will know what I'm talking about. That Ori block was horrible. It was like this concrete, not concrete, but concrete looking building that looked like a bus and you could hear everything. Like you could hear someone in the classroom next door sneeze. And in our case, we could hear Mr. No, Mr. Sinclair, Mr. Irish guy, comment below, forgot his name. Um, McCann, maybe it's Mr. McCann, the Irish guy, yeah. So the other class watching The Simpsons, yeah. The walls were so thin and it was freezing in there. Uh, my favourite drink. Uh, I knew this one was coming, so I made it for you guys. And it is a matcha tea latte. So, you guys are probably familiar with green tea. So, green tea, um, the, the water steeped through the bag, like a regular tea bag, you know, like black tea. Um, so, the difference between matcha green tea and green tea is um, matcha... The leaves are ground to a powder, a fine powder, and you mix that with water and then you make it up with milk. Um, so you you um, ingest the whole leaf versus green tea where the water's steeped and you you don't obviously eat the leaves. And it is so good. Actually, I seen Starbucks UK um, on Facebook the matcha tea latte has just arrived in the UK. Oh my god, you guys have to go try it. If you like multi drinks, um, yeah, malt, I'd say malt is the, the, the primary taste. Um, you guys would love this. This is my favourite matcha, green matcha tea latte. Um... Favourite perfume? I'd say my all my all time favourite perfume is the original DKNY. You know the one in the big tall um, bottle? That one's probably my favourite. But at the moment I'm working through about four bottles of um, Lady Gaga perfume that I've got. Um, yeah, my mum has a tendency if you say you like something she'll buy you two or three bottles. So I don't wear perfume every day, so I'm still working my way through Christmas gifts. Tea or coffee? Well, if you ask me 21 months ago, I'd probably say tea. But now I'm a mother, coffee is liquid gold for me. So, yeah, coffee. And if I had a child... Or if you have a child, what is her name? My daughter's name is Alexandra Francis White. Okay, guys, I'm going to end it here. Um, and thank you so much for watching this video. And if you do have any questions you want me to answer, I promise I'm not going to give you 10 minutes like I have today. Um, and I'll get around to answering them for you. Um, I'm going to link tag down below some of my YouTube friends and see if they enjoy answering these questions also. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll speak to you real soon.